believe that community service is one way of doing something within your immediate space. Uh, it could be in your school, it could be in your family, but make sure that you're making impact. Well, and what is impact? Impact is doing something that affects others other than yourself. The public see the legislature as the problem of Nigeria. We cannot do without the youth. They are the engine room of our campaign. Politics is beyond administrative. So? Yes, women in governance, women in politics um, is a dream, and I sincerely, I, I sincerely hope that we're going to get there. But we're very far. It takes you, me, to change the whole space. That's Table true. Like we, 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 enough of procrastination. But let me tell you something. Do you know decision makes men? and your decision affects your end conclusion and all that. So if you guys really want to take up the space, the time is now. Good day. Good day. Sorry, can we meet you? Uh, my name is Adora Enyachere, and I am the uh, founder of We We Network Afri and also the head of Women Affairs and Gender for African Union ECOSOC Nigeria. Wow. It's so hard to be with you. Thank okay, you. No, you're very beautiful. Thank you very and, much. Uh, nice outfit on you. Thank you very much. Yeah, sorry. Please, what's your expectation for today? Well, I expect truth. I expect clarity. Wow. I expect transparency. Um, as you know, that this year has been significant, especially with the challenges of the post-COVID and COVID era. And so there were new dimensions to lawmaking in Nigeria. So I'm hoping that all our conversations will bring some level of clarity to a lot of people who have, you know, some doubts, you know, what has been achieved this year, especially in terms of people reaching out to their constituents in the area of palliative distribution and also legislative policy making. So glad he's having a lady youth here because I tell the youth that they should get involved in all space. Because we shouldn't just be saying handies, handies. We should also get involved. So seeing you, it's so it's telling me that it's a wake up call to have a lady out there. So what do you want to tell others out there that are still trying? Like, okay, how would they get involved? I think getting involved and how it's a question of what. Um, you can get involved from wherever you are. You don't have to politically run for an office. I believe that community service is one way of doing something within your immediate space. Uh, it could be in your school, it could be in your family, but make sure that you're making impact. Well, and what is impact? Impact is doing something that affects others other than yourself. And for me, I think that's the beginning of the presence of mind of leadership for any young person. You really amaze me, as in I subscribe into your school of thoughts. Thank because you. Because I tell you, ladies are to be taking up space on heads these days, which you are doing. Thank so you. So for today, what is that one word you want to tell everyone how they're looking at you? Make your life count. Hmm. Make hmm. your life count. Okay. Do something significant. Hmm. What a strong word. Yes. Thank you very much. It's Thank a you. pleasure having you. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. You. Good day, sir. Sorry, can we meet you, sir? Well, I'm Dr. Abubakar, you know, sir? member of the House of Representatives. So it's really glad it's a hard to have you here today. What is the legislative doing to make sure that the youth are getting involved in this politics of today? Well, we have been doing a lot. Apart from individually at our various constituencies, we cannot do without the youth. They are the engine room of our campaign. It's only for them to queue in by providing them, inviting them to participate in our campaign activities is indirectly we are mentoring them. So it's for them to grab it through the informal way. That is one. Two, at the, in the chamber, you know, we promulgated this law of uh, no too young to run, which Mr. President has assented into it. It's to encourage the youth. We have the young parliamentarians. We encourage them, we give them advices, lectures, they organize functions, and we do let, I mean, we lend our uh, due credence to them to, to I mean, to, to, to follow. So there are so many, and there are people in the parliament now that are less than 40 years, 30 something, and so I think we are encouraging them. So it's only for the youth to really grab the opportunities abound. You know, they say when you don't blow your trumpet, nobody blows it for you. For everybody is busy blowing his. So it's for the youth now to grab. And the last crook way is that sometimes you have to struggle. You have to make noise. 
you have to get involved to be recognized. Who you are. So when you are needed, then your services are available. But when you keep quiet, you are waiting for somebody to come and call say, oh, that Thomas looks so shy. But the kind of job I want, Thomas cannot do it for me, so you will not be. But when you talk, you talk. Even if you are overstepping for you to be brought back, for you to be silent, then you become a force to be reckoned with. So sir, what is that one word, last word you want to tell to everyone out there? that we should really educate ourselves with the democratic norms of government. Right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Oh, good day, ma'am. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Good. I hope you're, you're very beautiful. Thank you. You're I welcome. appreciate that. Yeah. Sorry, what's it? My name is Vinta Pearl Ojoma. Wow. Yeah. Nice having you here. My pleasure. How glad is it is to be here tonight, today? Wow. It's, it's a beautiful day, and it's a day that we're here to talk especially the, to the legislatures, and we want them to talk to us. I'm actually the chairperson planning committee of this conference. So we're the ones that put this together. And we just there's just this huge gap between the legislatures and the, the public. We just want to hear them talk. Talk to us about a whole lot of things that have been worrying us. And if um, the legislatures in Nigeria get it right, honestly, Nigeria will be right. So there's just a huge gap between us and them. And we want that gap to be closed. So how do we get that? It's by talking. So today we are going to talk a whole lot, especially about the legislative investigative powers. Most times you see them investigating a whole lot of things. But after that, what happens? We don't get to hear anything. The recent one was the NDDC issue. And everywhere is quiet. Nobody is saying anything. So what happens after that? So the public see the legislature as the problem of Nigeria, especially when it comes to um, investigative powers, when it comes to um, the monies that they, they are being paid and a whole lot of that. So talk to us. Let us know what is happening. And that's why this conference, and this is the third edition, so there are so many editions that are coming up. Right. Yes. I, I must tell you, you've done a wonderful job here. Thank you. So what are your expectations today? What are the things? You know, it's one thing for them to talk. It's yes. another thing to put it into implementation. Sure. So what are those things you guys are putting into measure to make sure this There's, the world counts? Sure. There's going to be a communique after all of this. And... Um, Apart from this, there is also a radio program that we bring in legislators to talk to the public. So our expectations after this is bridging the gap between the legislators and the public. Yes. That's good, that's good. So yeah. what is that one word you want to tell every youth out there watching you? You can make it. Hmm. Just work hard, you can make it. Hmm. And let's try as much as we can to make Nigeria better. We go outside the country and we see what is being done there. Why are we why are we not trying our best to make Nigeria better? It 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 pains me. Honestly, it pains me not just to the youth, but also to the government. There are so many vibrant youths that are ready to work, but there is no enabling environment for them. So what do you expect them to do? I go around Abuja and I see even um, take for example um, area ten. I see youth people that want to work. Sometimes they will tell you, Madam, no light. Sometimes they will tell you no tools to use to work. Sometimes they don't even have money to start up a business. So I, they, there should be a, an, an enabling environment for the youth because they are ready. Nigerians are not lazy, honestly. Because outside the shores of this country, you see that Nigerians are excelling in every aspect. So if you give them that uh, enabling environment, they will do wonders. That's true. Yes. That's true. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Beautiful moment, ma. <laughs> yes, beautiful you know moment. You're very beautiful. Well, I hear that all the time. <laughs> I'm you, I confirmed it. All right. Thank you Sorry. very much. How's the name? My name is Ekene Okolie. Wow. It's a pleasure. Sorry. Same here. How glad is it is to be here this afternoon? Oh, well, it's, um, I'm elated, I'm excited um, to be here, um, wonderful job Holo Mace is doing, and um, to know that their partnership with the National Orientation Agency, it's, it's a great one. So what are your expectations today, or what, what is that one word you've learned from the meeting today? Um, what is the one word I have learned? Hmm, that's very deep. Well, um, 
for me, like um, the interaction I've had with a few of the senators and the House of Representatives that were present is um, I've been able to, you know, relay my feelings to them about their inaccessibility to the people because they have also been able to express or they have also been able to tell us that they are doing so much in the, in the National Assembly, uh, but the Nigerians and the populace are not aware of the many things they are doing. And I tie that to their inaccessibility. Uh, the media personnel are not able to access them. Um, they, are not, they don't disseminate the, the information of the things they're doing um, as it were. And so for me, that is one thing I, I think I have achieved here today. Okay, so what do you think? Don't you think ladies, women should get involved in the bigger space? politically <laughs> people like you uh, yeah yeah we're going to get there I, I laugh I laugh because um, women in governance women in politics um, is a dream and I sincerely I, I sincerely hope that we're going to get there but we're very far we're really far from it that is my candid and uh, sincere opinion but we will get there definitely well, let me tell you something do you know decision makes men and your decision affects your hand conclusion and all that. So if you guys really want to take up the space, the time is now. Um, that's true. We're here. Uh, we're engaging. Um, but seriously, uh, the politics and the, 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 the politics as it is being played in Nigeria is a whole lot deeper than um, what anyone can imagine. I was privy, um, I was privy to, to have participated in the... Um, 2019 presidential elections and I can tell you first that that is a lot deeper than what anybody can imagine but surely we are definitely going to get there and some of us have already started um, taking the bull by the horn. Because I think the narrative is already changing because it takes you me to change the whole space. That's so you're like, we, 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 enough of procrastination. Uh, that ends has, has been a wake up call to everybody out there and it has been a like so that's what I think, because I expect, I'm expecting a female president. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a man, but yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah. You thank you, thank you, thank you for the expectations. It's not far fetched. It's not far fetched. Uh, we will get there. Um, it's um, it's one thing to dream and aspire. It's another thing to ensure that women have been able to um, acquire the skills, the capacity, the competence. You know, I'm not saying that we're not smart. I'm not saying that we're not intelligent. But women also need to have hands-on experience when it comes to politics and how it is done in this part of the world. Well, that's sorry. When, when you say something, acquire the skills. Let me tell you, women are the most skillful people when it comes to administrative. Politics, yeah. politics is beyond administrative. You think so? Yes. Yes, no I, I am telling you, based, I'm a good administrator. Anyone who knows me would attest to that. But it's beyond, it is beyond, okay, now you organize this conference. I just told you that our legislators are not accessible. I'm a woman. If I keep coming on to a, a senator, what is the impression? What does the society feel? Oh, this lady is, is hounding a man simply because, you know, there are a lot a lot of things that are that, that, that are behind it. But eventually, I mean, uh, we have to give it to women. We're trying. We're trying. A lot of people are trying really hard to change the narrative. But trust me, it's a lot deeper than what... Um, no, I, I, can, I get where you're coming from. You know, this inferiority complex, gender... No, we're not, we're not, we're not well, inferior. You just said no, we're not. You said, you know, if you keep on, you know, like, what yes, is he? for instance, I just gave an. Saying, what would people say? It's not about what would people say. You know, I just use this place as a, as this as event a as, a, as a case study. The chairperson of the planning committee is a woman. The vice chairperson of the planning committee is a woman. I am not in the planning committee, but I am a close member of the family. I can tell you it wasn't that easy. Do you understand? So these are some of the challenges that women may face or things that um, kind of distract us from wanting to forge ahead. But eventually, we don't have a choice because we have also told ourselves that the time is now.
Yeah, because nothing becomes cheap. I agree. And behind every success, there must be a story. I agree. So we should, let's start taking the move. You'll be surprised, like, why will a man talking like this? It's because I know that's the fact. I'm expecting a woman to lead us this way. There's no problem. Because I know you guys have what it takes. You can count on us. That's why I'm, I'm always advocating for women, ladies. That's what my YouTube channel is for. It's all about. It's all about women. Uh -huh. Because I know, I believe in them. I have oh, no. a dream. I know he's going to come to reality. Amen. Yeah, Amen. So it's Thank not just you. the men. We should start taking that. Both We're step. taking his chance there. And also allow... Well, I'm not going to ask the men to give us the space because power isn't given. Power is taken. There is. You know, so uh, we will try. As long as people allow us to, 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 to walk within the tenets of, of democracy and our rights as, 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 as a gender. I really enjoy my conversation with you. Thank this you is not very an much. interview, but a discussion. All right. So I really, I think I really enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you much. very much. It's a pleasure having Same you. Same here. What's the name? Ekene. Ekene. Yeah. 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 Yeah.